Hi everyone, this is Mike speaking and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to detect a Wi-Fi connection on user's iPod or iPhone or iPhone. Uh, to do this we're going to use uh, a pre-written uh, reachability class by Apple. It's very simple and I'll guide you step by step how to do this. First of all I started a new project. Uh, it is a view based application that contains an app delegate and a view controller. So first, so first of all we're going to declare two objects first one is going to be a UI web view and another one is going to be a UI text field so we're going to each file the view controller I've already written all the code so I'm, go I'm just going to copy and paste it so we won't waste time so there are two objects first one is UI web view and the a text field for user to enter address and we're going to add some property headers for this and there is going to be a single IB action when the user presses the go button and it's going to be called it's the same, go. Uh, so that's it for the H file, now we're going to move on to M file. First of all we're going to synthesize these two objects, the web view and the address. And now we're going to implement our go IB action and that's our application skeleton that's how it's going to look like and now we're going to play around in the interface builder so we're going to go to resources and go to wiki connect controller okay so now interface builder just popped up so now we're going to drag two objects first of all is going to be a toolbar for the text field and the button now a UI text field go one view ok Alright, so this is it for the drag and dropping, and now I've got uh, the latest uh, stable SDK for Snow Leopard. Uh, in order, in these, in these SDK, SDKs, if you want your IB outlets and IB actions to work, you have to do uh, a one simple thing. First of all, we're going, you're going to have to click File in the upper menu item. It's not visible on the screen, but you've got to click it, File, and Read Class Files and you've got to find uh, the class in which your IB outlets and IB actions are declared so we're going to look for this okay that's that's the class so click open and now our outlets and IB actions are there so you have to do this now we connect the address to this the web view to this All right. So now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, con connect the WebView's delegate to the file owner because we're going to be using uh, the UI WebView delegate protocol. Uh, because uh, in order, uh, we're going to do this, do a simple thing. We're going to check whether the UI WebView is loading content and whether it is, uh, and if it is we're going to uh, check if the user is connected to Wi-Fi and if it, the user isn't connected we're, going, we're not going to allow uh, the WebView to load content and uh, show up an error so we connect the delegate to the files owner uh, because we point where the uh, delegate method is going to be uh, of course we could do this pro programmatically by uh, by typing WebView uh, set delegate to self uh, but we can do this via interface builder as well. Uh, okay, now the button selector, pause owner, go. Uh, okay, that's it for the interface builder. Now we're going to save it and quit it. And now, first thing we're going to do uh, when the go when the user presses the go button, we're going to dismiss the keyboard when the uh, when which which appears. To do this we're going to resign uh, the address from being the first responder and then uh, we're going to check if the address